Hey guys, what's up? How are you? I'm back. It's me, your boy, your host, he bot. And this will be another retro game night with me, he bot. Now, as you see, I am going to try to play today in celebration of the announcement or the recent announcement for the Del Timo or Do Timo uh Shredder's Revenge, which is the third iteration or in you know uh, part, which would be the sequel to uh, Turtles in Time uh, from the Ninja Turtles beat 'em up action game from the arcades that started way back when with Konami. Uh, I just wanted to play uh, one of the turtle games that actually came out, um, as you see here, last gen on 360. Uh, I don't know if it was only on 360. I can't remember, but... Uh, so, I do think it was, though. And turn off that light, the bathroom. And, and so, basically, uh, this is one of the best 3D iteration or interpretation in my opinion for uh, a Turtles game that actually was never really uh, talked about um, so let's put up the volume here a little bit and uh <clears throat> And uh, for me, in my personal opinion, uh, this is one of the games that I think uh, or feel that it was uh, was overlooked. Uh, me myself, I never got to actually finish it with so much games and library uh, games uh, on my back catalog from the 360, even back to OG. But this is one of the better games that was doing like a more photorealistic take on it or a more realistic take on the turtle. Um, uh, I'm going to see if I can start from scratch. And this one is called uh, Out of the Shadows. Uh, you know, the turtles, Ninja, Ninja, Ninja Turtles, Out of the, Sh Out of the Shadows is actually the title. Of, the, of this game. Uh, let's just continue from headquarters. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do... Let's see if we can focus. There we go. And we'll start with a new game. Uh, I wonder if I could even erase in all the games. To try to show it off to you guys. Um, I mean, this game would be awesome if, if they would allow it, Nickelodeon, to be back in power. It would benefit the. It would benefit greatly from the power of the new consoles. Obviously, you know, we could make it into 4K resolution and uh, perhaps run it in the actual 60 frames per second, uh, you know, format because the game is 30 frames and I believe it's 720p. So I'm going to try to let you see the cutscenes without talking so that people can actually hear it. Because I had someone actually complain about that, which uh, I felt kind of weird and odd about it, but it is what it is. Um, so it's kind of a realistic take uh, on the turtle. You see he's starting off with April. It's in a third person perspective. All the gears. Or a la um, Prince of Persia, you know, Tomb Raider. Uncharted, you name it. Are you kidding me? A truck? So it says crawl down. So I'm crawling. Uh oh. There you go. So 
all down. It's kind of weird because she's Pros over there doing some ninja moves. Let's come over here real quick. Press the button. So you press A and tap it, and you're rolling. She's moving like that. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta try to reconnect and connect. Something's off with the controller. Let's see. It's kind of odd. Let's see. Almost like control's not reading correctly. It's weird. Until actual, until after they show you the actual prompt of the buttons, like you see there. So now we'll go this way. But the standards obviously looks dated, but I don't remember this was a you know a smaller independent title. Uh oh. And then that com you can't see it, but it shows Donatello's face. It says Donny on it because of the brightness, I guess. So it says the Ninja Turtles out of the shadow. Check this out. A boom 
Not your best invention, Donnie. Not just the boot. What's in the boot? So, the, as you see here, the cutscenes are done like in comic book strip style. With like a, you know, comic style artwork, but when you play the game, it has a more photo real look to it. And then there's challenge modes, there's a skill tree. And you actually keep unlocking moves for each character. There's a 2D side scrolling arcade mode, which is really cool. So very excited to see that the guys who did Streets of Rage 4 are tackling a new version of the game or a new iteration. Uh, although I wish they would have used the same art style they did for Streets of Rage 4, they kind of wanted to stick with that old school sprite aesthetic. So here's the New York map workshop, we have upgrade. That's Dojo for training, Fridge for concept art, the arcade mode, uh, tips and to exit. Um, I don't know if there's anything we can do in the workshop, but we can check real quick. I don't think I have any points as of yet. So it's just there. So we have no. Okay. So we'll go to the New York map. Campaign missions, Xbox Live. Start a game online. So you can play online against the actual campaign. And complete challenge mode, which is unlocked. I mean, locked right now. So we'll go to campaign. And then you start off with, uh, I believe it's Leonardo, you confirm, yes. But the thing is that you can change to each turtle on the fly too as you're playing and progressing the level. So hopefully I'll be able to show you that and display it as we're playing. Um, so this isn't 3D third person, but it's one of the better executed ones for turtles. Uh, compared to all the other stuff that came out earlier, like an OG or even 360. Uh, and it was reasonably priced. Um, but a lot of people, when I tell them about it, if they played it, they didn't even know the game existed. So it's kind of crazy. Hmm. Have them coming out this Michelangelo. There was Leonardo, the leader. silent during cutscenes because somebody actually said that why do I speak during the cutscenes so you know we don't want to hear what he said but that's okay <coughs> yes. the parkouring in this game is really cool and the music composure of the game is really really good I don't know who composed the game, musically wise, but it definitely is different approach, but very fitting to the Ninja Turtle uh, style. I'll handle these guys. 
an ecstatic so let's see let's see see the yellow highlights that you know this is where you can go for the double counter. All right. There you go. Nice. So it's kind of cinematic too. coming off in the camera like it has a gasoline look. It's actually darker. Too 
turtles. So the AI is controlling the other turtles. Get down, guys. Behind those dogs. Let's hide. So we gotta hide behind here. So the cops won't see them. Okay, they're leaving. Look, there's a purple dragon headed down the alley. Aw, the poor guy's all by himself. Oh, this is telling me to change. So I'm gonna change the balance of them. And then it says... Then it says you can... Do a stealth kill. You press X. Execute a stealth kill. And then you have collectively in here. I really like the music in the game. You gotta sneak up on this dude right here. No. Oh, oh, I put him in sleep. Again, you can switch to any turtle on the fly. Right, right now, I just picked Raphael. So 
Y Y Y holding Y more gold for the defense. These are specials. Which is that? Tells you how many points I have. Can you see the page are at? Why 
go. More values than those. Here we go. here. Sneak in here, as you see. Wah -wah. <laughs> this is all Mikey doing thing. <laughs> Trying to keep some humor. It was very ninja-esque and samurai style. Really enjoy that. Sneak. Sneak. Mm -hmm. 
Look at these dudes. It's the lasers. <laughs> the lasers. And the mix is switching out. There's some hot fire in his eye. Got him. Oh, there's still some thugs over there. Holy cow. And this is how you revive your first part. You know what I mean? That's LB to throw shurikens or shurikens. Oh, look at that cinematic shuriken throw. What? Hold on, Matthias. You're just in charge of the press. The music is great. Bam! 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 Stay away And again, guys, I'm having fun. Right 
das Ding hier. Okay. Sampling of that music would be so dope. So, in this way, right? I should have been paying attention more to the actual system of ancient. I think I got it correctly. Let's 
Yeah. This one thing here. Sneak attack. Sneak attack. Got him. Good points for that. Checking, trying to mess up. This way, what? the music is fire.
Good soldiers are so original. There you go.
amount there that you guys see as you can see I go to a workshop without any points before the beginning like another stage uh, yeah I have one point so this is level one out of three we'll go and purchase it I purchase it boom and so forth and so forth as you see. You're going down, there's one in Rafael, one in Michelangelo, and one in Donatello. And a New York map, a New York map again. It's, the HUD is basically their, you know, their base where they live. And, you know, in the actual cartoon. Now that I selected, you know, my turtle, I can go into the next mission and, you know, go from there. See, this is chapter two, the way of the ninja. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it. Um, that's the uh, Turtles Out of Shadows. It's a 360 release that came on the arcade space. Um, it was fairly cheap. You can still buy it now. I believe it's one of the only turtle games that's not delisted. Uh, and um, Where are we going? There's a from all of the ones somewhere. that have came out through the years. Uh, um, didn't Master Splutter ask us to come? So, I believe he said we were exhausted and needed rest. You guys are interested. So you can still try to pick it up, but you can only play it via 360. That's the problem. Cool. Like I said, now that Nickelodeon is actually playing ball, right, so to speak, and giving freedom to companies to, you know, mess with turtle games and bring them out. Maybe they'll be nice enough to allow, uh, you know, some backwards compatibility for some of these games, you know, the older ones, like these that probably were never uh, actually looked at by many players. And they got overlooked because it came out either on, you know, the, the, the 360 store where you just couldn't really notice or confusion of so many games, not knowing which one's which. Um, or because it was the tail end of the last, you know, the 360 generation, so to speak, right? Hang on. Let me hear something. Yeah, guys, there you have it. This is my retro okay, game that we need, but... Um, I hope you guys, you know, enjoyed it in the way that I enjoyed playing it for you. Uh, just want to show you a little insight on the game to get you familiar with it so you can see what it is. And obviously, hype because it's under the, you know, recent announcement of the new upcoming game. Obviously, very different. This one's in 3D, not in 2D, but still a Ninja Turtles game that was good. That many probably never played and was underappreciated and you know and overlooked basically so give me a thumbs up if you like the video leave a thumbs down if you did it uh thank you for stopping by if you, you know if you're one of the regulars that always rock out with me thank you for your continued support if you're new to the channel and that for the first time also welcome and thank you for stopping by if you decide to subscribe, hey, listen, I am so grateful and humble. Thank you so much. But remember now, because you did, I consider you part of my familia, my family. And as always, you guys uh, can find me uh, on social media, on uh, Twitter, under Hebot Powerful Gamer, and Instagram, under C underscore respect. And uh, you can also find me on Xbox Live, 
and the Nintendo Switch on the HeBot 8 and on the PlayStation 4 or network rather, it's Al Fell from Sky. If you guys ever want to help me out in any way, shape, or form, you guys have the means to know. If you like what I do, you like the content, you can keep producing better content or make more content of things that you would like to see. Uh, you know how to do it, it's all down in the description below. And if you ever want to donate anything you want me to take a look at, it'll be my honor, I'll be more than glad to. Um, just simply hit me up with a DM on one of the social platforms I told you, and we'll work out the particulars from there. This is your boy signing off, guys. Have a very good night. Retro Game Night with Biba, your host, me, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. Love you, and bye-bye.